All right, welcome back. Here we go. Uh, Distributive property and combining like terms. So someone asked a question before. And they said, do an example with parentheses. And I said, great. That's the next one. So you guys are starting to ask questions that go to the next topic. That's great. That's excellent. So we'll just jump in with an example. Oh, actually, no. Let's go root words. Root words or base words. If I have distributive, what would be... Root distribute. Word. Distribute. So we're going to distribute. And distribute means what is spread. If I'm gonna distribute the homework, what am I gonna do? Pass it out. Pass it out. Hand it back. Everybody gets theirs back. So we're going to distribute. So we distribute when we see parentheses. So if I have a two parentheses, x plus three. So if I have something like this, <coughs> the distributive property says that we're going to multiply. We're going to distribute this two to this x plus three. Okay. And I'll show you why it works. So 2 times x would be 2x, and 2 times 3 six. would be 6. So there's an example with the distributive property. So if I have a 2 right up against a parenthesis, we talked about this in learning the integers in order of operations, that 2 right next to parenthesis, there's no operation in between, that means multiply. So we're going to do 2 times x and 2 times 3. Okay, we're good with that? Yeah. Now here's the real question. Why does this work? Okay, let's go back to fundamentals. What is 2 times 4 equal? 8. eight. Do you know why it's 8? Because if we memorize our timetables like our third grade teacher told us to. Yes. But multiplication is a short way of doing what? Adding. This says I want to add the number 4 two times. 4 plus 4 is? 8. eight. There's the 8. You see that? So multiplication just means repeated addition. It's a shortcut. So when I come over here and I say I want 2 times x plus 3, using this idea, 2 times x plus 3, 2 times 4 was 8, so that means take two of the 4's and add them up. So what would I do here? I want to apply the same thinking. I would take two of these and add them up. So the shortcut is to multiply, just like over here. So that's why it works. Let's do another example where we have to distribute and combine. gave you this problem. The parentheses tell us that we need to distribute. distribute. So we're going to multiply the 3 with everything in the parentheses. And then we stop when we see the closed parentheses. So 3 times 2 6x. 6x. 3 times a 4 12. Do I multiply those? No. No, because no, he's not in the parentheses. He stays the same. And now here's where we answer the question from before. 
if we combine our like terms. So 6x minus 5x is just x. Right? 6 minus 5 is 1. And so there's a 1 here, but we never write it. It's just implied that it's there. 1 times x is still x. And that's it. Very easy. Questions on this example? All right, so I'll give you one. You try this with your partner. See, make sure you can get it right. Good, right? You checked with your partner, you all agree? You and your partner got the same answer? Very good. Let's see if you agree with my answer. Negative 2 times 3. Negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 2. Positive 4. Positive 4. And again, we leave this the same. Do not distribute, because that's not in the parentheses. We look for our like terms. Negative 6 plus 8. Positive 2. X. Positive 2. Can I combine these? No. No. We're no. done. That's it. Questions? No? Very good.